Hey everyone! Today we're going to learn how to integrate an ocean-based database with Kafka. We'll set up the ocean-based database as the upstream source and Kafka as the downstream connection. I'll show you how to stream your data from ocean-based to Kafka and back to ocean-based. So first, a bit of background. We'll be using DBZM, a Kafka Connect tool. Actually, we are using the DBZM MySQL source connector to capture data from Ocean Base. Then, we will use the Confluent JDBCC connector to pull data from Kafka topics and write it back to the Ocean Base database. So here's the game plan. First, we will configure the source connector. Since Ocean Base is highly compatible with MySQL, we are using the DBZM MySQL source connector just to treat Ocean Base like Data to Kafka topics. We'll set up the Confluent JDBC Sync connector to read data from these Kafka topics and write it into the Ocean Base database. Before we get started, make sure you have a dedicated DBZM user in your Ocean Base. Okay, so I will cover how to create a user and grant privileges in this video, but you can find that info in the dot link I posted in the description. Just make sure you have the right user with the right privileges. Alright, let's assume you have everything installed. First up, let's configure the DBZM MySQL connector. Open up your connect distributed properties file. Add the DBZM MySQL connector extension path at the end of the file. Just a heads up, don't include the DBZM connector MySQL directory in your plugin path. Next, let's check the status of the Kafka topics. already have some topics here, but if this is the first time you run this document, you run this command, you receive nothing. Now let's start Kafka Connect. Create a register ocean based DBZM JSON file and add your connection information like the ocean base, host name, port, and user, blah 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 blah. You can find the details in the official documentation, so I won't go through it line by line. Keep in mind, you need to update the connection info with your own database details. And through the initial snapshot phase, make sure no one changes to our data schema. Then it is safe to set snapshot locking mode to no to now. Now let's register the DBCL MySQL connector via the REST API via the REST API. Oops, it looks like I ran into an error because I'm not in the right directory. Let's change to the right directory and run the command again. Oh, another error, but it's fine. I actually ran this command before recording, so it says the connection already exists. Now, let's check if we successfully added the connector. Sure enough, there it is. Actually, you can see two connectors. The one we are used for this thing is the second one. already. We use this command to make sure data has been sent to the Kafka topic. Here, I'm using a database named task and a table named tb1 as an example. It has 14 rows and the task ID is 14. Since no new data has been added to the database, this command returns nothing, which makes sense. Insert some data and we'll run the command to see what you get. Now, on to part 2. Writing Kafka messages to Ocean Base. First, make sure you have Confluent Kafka Connection JDBC ready. I will assume you have got the right environment. If not, check out the doc link below the video. Restore Kafka Connect after adding the MySQL driver for Confluent Kafka JDBC Connect. It may look a bit complex. Oh, sure it is, but we're looking for JDBC Sync Connector. There it is. Now, we're ready to add Choose whichever user you need. And another thing, don't ever 
However, try to use the same talent for your source and target databases, okay? If you do, you might run into some thing like issues, which is why I need to get the updated data from Kafka in my target ocean base first. So, you want to pay Directory again, let's change to the right one. Still not? Ah, of course. Wrong JSON name here. Now, let's look at my same connector. I saw it earlier when setting up my, when setting up the my circle connector. Alright. We're in test the thing now, and I'll show you all the data from TV2. Okay, now let's try some data streaming. Unfortunately, we get nothing here, because as I said, I use the same talent for my source and target, so this makes some big enough issues. Now let's change to another talent in the target. Yes, everything looks just fine. What's more, let's try to delete the data I just in inserted.